Joan, how are you? We're very good. well. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Uh, first, congratulations on the film. Uh, it was fantastic. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, Tim, your performance was incredible as always. Thank you so much. Um, I, I should say, usually when we I watch screeners in preparation for a, an interview, I, I try to gather questions as I, as I go. But then once the film ended, I had a whole new series of questions I wanted to ask. <laughs> I will not, out of respect for those who have not seen it. Um, but a great, great, great film. Um, Patsy, I'd like to ask you, um, this is very different from the other projects that you, you've worked on in the past. Can you talk about um, where the idea came from and the, the process of getting it off the ground? Yeah, so um, my my business partner and I, and we own Hideout Pictures and, um, you know, we had partnered with Shot Studios to, with the idea of doing a slate of Westerns. And so, you know, we, we, we were out scouting this one, you know, we were actually looking at other Westerns at the time and just trying to see which one we were going to push. But this story came from, we were scouting this 25 acre property out of outside of Nashville for a different project. And, you know, driving around, came over the hill and saw this house on these stone blocks and it was a hundred plus year old house. And so it really all stemmed from that, you know, just kind of sat out there and was walking through the house and it started to get dark and it's kind of scary in the country after dark. And so, you know, it was like, what would I do if somebody came up on the house right now? How do you know if you could trust them? And that's just like, you know, living in the country, I think that's the, the core of it is your property is your property. When somebody steps on it, you don't know if they have good intentions or bad. So you, you know, it's that way today. I think that, I think a lot of the country still lives in that thing. If you come on somebody's property, you might be met with a gun, you know, not pointed at you, but right. held down and a lot of questions. So, um, you know, the, the story just kept evolving from there. And then we added the historical element and then it just, it felt like this was the one to push as the first, the first Western in this, in this partnership with, with uh, Shot Studio. So, um, so yeah, that, that, that's kind of where it, the Genesis came from, was from the location. Um, I, I have a locations background myself. So that, that to me is very interesting that that can spawn a story like that. That's great. Uh, Tim, you, you're executive producer as well. Can you talk about how, you're, how you get involved in the project? I was sent the script initially as, as a, an actor. Uh, and I was cooking dinner and got this email and you've been offered the role of Henry in the movie Old Henry. And in addition to that being the name of my oldest son, Henry, uh, <laughs> I thought, well, it finally happened. I've been offered a role that's described as old. <laughs> it was inevitable. <laughs> Uh, and knowing nothing about it, I started reading it and was immediately drawn in, mostly because of the story of a father and son. Uh, I'm raising three boys myself, and the, the way that Potsy was addressing the inner conflict of parenthood between wanting to protect your children from the outside world and then wanting to expose them to it so they'll be able to face its challenges really affected me uh, in a deep way. And the fact that it was housed inside of a, of a violent meat and potatoes Western made it a no brainer. I wanted to be involved. Your, your character, uh, as a film unfolds, we learn a little bit more about your character. Um, do you, um, without giving anything away, obviously, does that help inform your, his backstory? Does that help inform your performance? It certainly did. It, 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 you know, as I was reading the script, um, I confronted new challenges on every page uh, in, in terms of ultimately playing the role. And that excited me tremendously when I realized there was another even deeper level to it all that was accompanied by the, 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 um, a feeling of titillating dread. <laughs> uh, because um, at once it made it more exciting to, to, to try and play this role, but also it deepened my sense of responsibility to give Potsy a performance that would make sense. And Ultimately, the real chore in playing this role, and it was a wonderful chore, was to find out how, over the course of the movie, this transformation 
could occur without the audience really knowing when exactly it had happened to make it gradual and organic. And thanks to Potsy's excellent writing and his guidance as a director, um, I think that we collaborated in a way that we pulled it off. Do you feel that as be being a director yourself, does that help in your decision making as an actor? It does to a degree, but I guess mostly it makes me very well behaved. <laughs> uh, I will say that, yeah. <laughs> uh, because I, you know, every day I, you know, I had an understanding of what Potsy was going through in terms of the scant resources to make a Western of, of even though it's an intimate Western of considerable scope. Um, and uh, also the, the limited budget he had um and the limited time he had and um so having directed myself i just know what every conversation every demand an actor has costs a production um and so i think that being a director just makes me more sensitive to that sure he tim would start every every uh every time tim had an idea he'd go I'm going to bring this up, but in the end, you can tell me no, I'll walk away. <laughs> so that was the preface for every everything he said. But it was, I mean, what Tim's not telling you, though, is he was, it was such a great collaboration. In, I mean, from the beginning, from reading books and, and pulling pieces of, you know, authentic characters and, and moments in history out of it and, and really building his character it was, it was so, it was just a blast to work with him and, and really find that character with him because I mean he brings so much to it it's it's pretty amazing let's talk about Stephen Dorff's character a little bit catch him um it's a great character uh, I think it's probably Stephen's best performance he's fantastic um well it's interesting he's the antagonist but there's a, a warmth and um a sincerity to him which I just kind of want to spend more, as an audience we want to spend more time with him was that how much of that was in the script and how much of that did Stephen bring to the performance it's I, I'd say it's you know it's funny because the script is written and then once the character once an actor signs onto that role you kind of rewrite it for them so when Steven signed on I actually gave him other characters lines that you know some of his essentially we gave him more character more lines and stuff just to fill his character out more and make it more of a, a meaty role so you know the idea was always that he was kind of this long-winded poetic speaking just speaking guy, but I think Dorf brings, you know, he has that raspy voice. He has that rugged look, you know, he looks like he's held a cigarette since three years old. So it's <laughs> like, he just, he has a way of, uh, his presence is just there. But then once you put these words in his mouth it, and he just has fun with them, I think it, yeah, it just kind of organically evolved into what it is. And, you know, uh, I think it was, it was definitely, uh, it was, it was fun. It was, it was great to see him kind of make that character his own. One thing Potsy and I did as we worked together uh, is, you know, we, we read all these, we read these histories of, of the characters and of the time and the vocabulary was just fantastic. Mm -hmm. And so we decided let's really steep the script in that. And, <laughs> and, um, and then we realized that, you know, I was talking that way and Dorf was talking that yeah. way, Dorf's character, and, and, and the decision was made, all right, let's give all that to Dorf. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and so yeah. Potsy was able to create in his script um, a villain that's different from any other villain uh, because he does have this odd vocabulary and, and as you said, this, this wonderful warmth. And, and I think Stephen really... Uh, took what Potsy gave him and, and 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 realized it. And Tim, you got to say Brigazzi and Knuckle and Skull, so we didn't we didn't take yeah. all the good ones from him. <laughs> so, um, what was it? Um, what were the the was it like shooting with the COVID protocols? Uh, I mean, honestly, you know, we were shooting in winter, so the days were already really short with with lighting and stuff. So. I'd say COVID took 30 minutes out of the morning. We did okay. tests three times a week. We did over 1,200 tests total. Um, but I, I think more than anything, it it really pulled the crew and the cast together because everyone, 
everyone was trying to stay so safe, even on the weekends. And, you know, we took a break for Thanksgiving and I think some of the crew didn't even go home to family because they were trying to stay healthy to not shut us down. Sure. Cause there was, you know, there was such a ticking clock. We ended uh, a week before Christmas. So if anyone got sick and we shut down for any amount of days, we'd have had to go away for Christmas, come back in January. And that would have been, we would just lost the momentum and lost the, the flow. Sure. So I think, uh, I think it really brought everyone together as a family and, and just, you know, made it, everyone was just kind of in it to, to really push through and, and make this thing amazing. So um, I think that was, a, COVID had a lot to do with that. Nice. Well, gentlemen, thank you for your time. Uh, you should be proud of this film. It's fantastic. Before I do let you go, uh, Tim, I do want to ask you, uh, Marvel's moving into the next phase of the MCU. <laughs> Any chance we'll see the return of Sam, uh, Samuel Stearns? Um, there have been rumblings. You'll have to ask them. <laughs> I, I assume you you'd be happy to come back sure yeah okay all right well guys thank you very much and congratulations again thank you good to meet thank you. you thanks for talking bye. to us bye, bye. thanks